All right, so one option today is that you can make a pinch pot. And we're using air dry clay, so it's important that you keep it a little bit wet and that you keep it moving. Now, the first thing you wanna do is form it into a ball. So using your hands, you're just gonna to wanna to round it into a ball, and that will be the shape of your pinch pot. So the rounder and circ more circular it is, the better. Keep it nice and wet so that it, you can keep moving it. Then you're going to want to pinch a hole in the middle, and you can just use your thumb to pinch it right in the center, and then you wanna make it a little bit wider. So you can use both thumbs, tapping the bottom to make sure it stays flat, and then using your fingers to pinch it around almost like a steering wheel. So the wider you pinch it, the bigger your bowl will be. And when you pull the walls up, so when you use your outer fingers to make the walls taller, then you will get a longer shape. So deciding what you wanna do, do you wanna make a shallow bowl? Would you like to make a taller bowl? If the wall gets a little thin, you can just kind of mold it back together. Um, this clay is super forgiving, so if you don't like what you do, just start over. I'm gonna make it as perfect of a circle as I can. And when I see those cracks, I'm just getting my fingers a little wet and smoothing out the cracks. Um, if I wanna make it even, I can tap it either way on the table. So I can either make the rim a little bit more even or I can make the base a little bit more even by tapping on the um, table. Using this water to really smooth it out um, and get the perfect shape I want, try and even out the walls. Remember that this is air dry clay, so unfortunately we won't be able to eat out of it but you will be able to paint it and um, it will still stay its shape and get really hard and we'll put a shiny coat on it so it'll be as close to real clay as we can get it. All right. Now we also have tools available at our tables. Um, so you can add designs, you can carve into it, you can write your name, words, texture. Uh, you don't have to do this because we'll be painting them once they're dry anyway. Um, but if you would like to shape it, um, you can only do that while it's wet. today is creating an ornament um, so you can do this by creating a coil the first step to creating coil is rounding out a little ball of clay to make a long uh, kind of tube shape and you start with just a circle and then you're rolling it just like I'm doing right here on the table trying to make it as even as possible I'm rolling it on one side and then the other so that it doesn't break right in the middle definitely trying to roll up my sleeves because it gets super messy um, and I'm gonna try and make it as long as I can without breaking it uh, and then I'm going to wrap it around itself. So I'm going to coil it in. You may have done this with Play-Doh as a kid. Um, but I'm going to try and coil it perfectly like a circle. Then you can just smash it down to make it a smooth surface. I'm assuming if you're making an ornament, um, you might want to paint on it or decorate it. So it's okay if it's smooth. Um, and don't press it so firmly into the table that it's hard to get up. But smoothing it out rounding it out and then using a tool to create the hole at the top. Keep in mind that this clay might shrink a little as it dries because it's gonna lose that moisture. So you wanna make a bigger hole than um, you think you'll need so that you can attach a string to it and hang it on your tree. Using the water to smooth it out so that I have a nice smooth surface of painting and that should be it. <laughs>